Hey guys, what's up? And today we've got yet another exporting tutorial for YouTube. And this time is gonna be about Premiere Pro CS5. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And in my case, I have Premiere Pro CS6. But this tutorial applies for Premiere Pro CS5 or CS5.5.5 and even CS4. So we'll begin by creating a new project. And this you can just leave alone for now. Uh, but I'm just gonna call it test. And after that, it's gonna go ahead and open up the sequence presets. And so here's where you choose the correct preset that matches, matches um, the frames you recorded in and the resolution you recorded in. So if you have a digital SLR camera, you can just go ahead and go to the DSLR folder and there you can select the um, base settings that match, match uh, what you recorded. However, if you do not have a DSLR camera, you have to go into HDV because uh, that is the best option or you can just uh, play around with different sequences and see what is better for you. But I would recommend going into HDV if you do not have a digital SLR camera because that's the best way. So uh, since uh, the footage that I'm going to be processing is recording 1080p 30 frames per second, I'm just going to pick that and um, I'm just going to name the sequence test and then click OK. And at this point, it is going to open up Premiere Pro. And for different versions of Premiere Pro, it may have a different alignment. However, the concept is the same for all versions of Premiere Pro. So you can import footage in two different ways. You can either right click um, down there and you can select import just as that. Or you can go into file and select import, which is my favorite way. And after that, it's going to open up this box. And there you can choose the footage that you want to import into Premiere Pro. And it's, after that, it's just going to import the files for a little second. And this should um, depend on how long the clip is and in what format it is. And after it has imported, you can go ahead and drag it to your sequence, just like so. And right after you import the footage, you should see either a yellow line or a red line or whatever line. But if it is not green, that means that your clip is not rendered. Uh, so you may not render it, but when when you're exporting, it's gonna take tons of um, it's gonna take more time. So I would recommend uh, rendering while you're in the video editor, and then it's gonna take less time to render. So as you can see now we have red and yellow, so that means we have to render it. So just go into sequence and click render entire work area, and this should depend um, on again how long your video is and the file size. So it's uh, you can also see the render details and that stuff, but it should uh, finish uh, sooner or later. Uh, so as you can see now, even the scrubbing between the video is very smooth, as you can see right there, compared to the unrendered clip. But once you finish doing all the tweaking to your video, you can just go into File, Export, and click on Media. And here's where you can um, choose all your export settings. You do not want to click on match sequence settings since that's just going to um, give you a huge file size and not that good quality. But for YouTube, the best quality is F4V since it has a low file size and it keeps the quality good in 360p. And in preset, you want to clip on match source high quality and then you can change the directory to where you want to save it and you can also change the name so I'm just gonna leave it at test and click on save and then you can go down to more video options you can see a video codec you can uh, resize the video just change the resolution of that and then you can um, frame rate I'm just, I just leave it as same as source the field order noun progressive and the profile 4 point uh, high and level 4.0 then you can choose render at maximum depth but that's just going to take a lot um, more time but the quality is going to be better then you can change the um, bitrate forming uh, by vpr1 or vpr pass 2 which is going to give you better quality and then you can play around with the target bits uh, target bitrate if you put the bitrate level to custom however i just like to keep it on high because that gives me very good quality and then in the bottom you can again use maximum um, render quality but that's just gonna take tons of time and honestly it does not affect the video and you also can save the preset so that each time you do not have to adjust the settings manually uh, but since I have the preset I'm just gonna click on no and on cancel but after you adjust all the settings you can just click on export and it should start the encoding your video 
And so honestly, these are the best settings that I have found for YouTube since uh, with the F4V format, the video keeps a very high quality in 360p compared to um, MOV files or MP4 files. So yeah, and it also keeps a very low file size. So as you can see, um, it will export quite fast, but again, it also depends of the file of the vid of the lo length of the video and you will just can open f4v files with vlc media player but yeah and so as you can see it's playing back uh, quite smoothly and as you can see the quality is very good so yeah guys this is gonna be a bit for this video hope you enjoyed and please comment down guys um and tell me what you think about the settings and if they um worked for you or if they didn't and also please do subscribe guys if you want to see more content like this um and if you want help and so yeah guys please also rate this video up it will help me a lot and i hope you have a very nice day and i'll catch you all in the next video